today I want to share with you several books and a few traditions that you can celebrate with your family on St. Patrick's Day. Hi, I'm Michelle and this is A Common Life. I'm a homeschooling mom of five kids ages 5 through 13. I wanted to share with you a few of our favorite books about St. Patrick so that you can have these in your home for St. Patrick's Day. A lot of these books will probably be available at your local library and if they're not, I will have them all linked to down below in the description box so that you can get a copy for your home. The first book that I'm going to share with you today is Patrick, Patron Saint of Ireland by Tommy D. Paola. And I love all of his books. And this one is just really pretty. I love the beautiful green colors. So this story starts back um, when he was a child and it kind of goes through his entire life. And I'm not going to show you every single page in the book because you can definitely find this book at your local bookstore or at your library. This is a pretty, he's a pretty common author. So I just love his illustrations. They're so pretty. And then at the very end of the book, he writes a little note to the people who are reading this story. So this is a really great one for kids specifically. This next book I really like. It is The Story of St. Patrick by James A. Janda and illustrated by Christopher Fay. And what I like on the back is that it says, who has not heard of St. Patrick's Day? It's the day of the wearing of the green. Stores sell shamrocks and clover. There are parades and celebrations. And in every school across the United States, youngsters and adults wear something green on St. Patrick's Day. But few know the actual story about this remarkable man. And so this book actually tells the story of St. Patrick's. It's not just about legends. It's actually a biography type book. And this one is for children a little bit older. Um, it's kind of broken up in chapters. They're very short chapters but it's still something that would take longer to read. So I would recommend maybe starting to read this a week or so ahead of time with your children. And anyway, it just goes through the whole story and here's that prayer that he's famous for. Christ at my right hand, Christ at my left hand, Christ in front of me, Christ beside me, Christ above me, Christ below me, Christ within me, Christ outside of me, Christ everywhere, everywhere, Christ. This next book is really interesting because it is a dual or a bilingual book. Half of it is in English and the other half of it, of it is in Irish and it comes with a CD and it has two different people who read the story. So one who reads it in English and another who reads it in Irish, which is really neat. I feel like my in-laws got this in Ireland. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry, but it's definitely from Ireland. I actually could not even find it on Amazon. So I did link to it in the description box down below, but you have to buy it through a publisher in Ireland. So like I said, it comes with the CD that tells the story, both in English and in Irish, which is really, really neat. Look how beautiful this is. Oh my goodness. This is a gorgeous book. And I love how it even tells you when the feast day is. And so like I said, it's English and in Irish. So each page is broken up like this. You will have one side over here that is in Irish and then one side that is in English. So if you know Irish and you can read the Irish side and if you obviously only know English, you read the English side, but it'd be fun to just kind of follow along. If you're listening to the story, you could follow along the Irish side. Oops. So this one is just beautiful. The illustrations are absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. And once again, it tells the story of St. Patrick. And this is a really great one. Now I love the St. Joseph picture books and this is the one about St. Patrick. And this one again is this one's pretty long and it tells you the years that he was born and it kind of gives you just a little bit of background. And then it talks about when he was taken into slavery and kind of just goes through his entire life story here. So this is another book in the set of St. Joseph picture books, and this is in the series all about saints. This is book number one, and St. Patrick is, let's see, where is he? He's on page six in this book. Here he is. And so this is a very brief history about St. Patrick. So if you're looking for something that has a nice brief history and has several other saints in, as, in it as well, this would be a great book for you, because this is how many it has in here. And then at the very end, there is just a nice little prayer that you can pray with your kids. 
One of my favorite books is this Alphabet of Catholic Saints. This one is great for younger children. Obviously you can read it with anyone in your family. I like to actually display this in our homeschool room. And so if you go all the way to the letter P, you will find St. Patrick. And it's just a very simple, you know, very simple information about St. Patrick and a little bit about his history and that's about it. This is a really great book to have in your home. This next book was given to us at Christmas and it is 100 Saints, A Treasury of Their Lives and Times. This is a really neat book. Obviously it has 100 saints in it and I will open up my marked page, the page where St. Patrick is here so we can get to it. So it has all of the basic information about him, his feast days, symbols, his feast day, symbols and art, patronage, paintings, and profile. And then it has a little, a little legend about him and it has a story of his life. So this is really great because it has obviously 100 different saints in it and it's categorized in different categories and it's just, a really really neat book so I would highly recommend it this one is actually not super expensive I looked it up on Amazon and I think it was only 12 or 13 dollars I'm pretty sure for this and this is a hardcover book I mean this is really really nice with beautiful illustrations I'm sure you could see some of those as I was flipping through look at that this would be a really great thing to pick up just to keep in your home and then as you go through the church here you can look up the different saints and find them in this book so I would highly recommend this like I said it's linked to down below oh and at the very back on page 156 there's a calendar of the saint so I'll open up to that for you and show you so here it is all laid out for you like that so this is an amazing resource and like I said really really well priced and then the very last book that I want to share with you is this biography St. Patrick of Ireland, a biography by Philip Freeman. And then this is obviously not for young children. This would be something that an adult could read or an older child. And it goes through his entire life. Got a bunch of illustrations, here we go. It goes through his entire life and even some of his letters and things, Irish words. It's a really interesting book. Really like this one, so I thought I would share it with you guys if you wanna pick up something that you or your older children can read. So besides all of the books that you can read with your family on St. Patrick's Day, one of the most fun things that you can do, besides of course wearing green, would be to make some really fun treats for your family. You can start out by making the classic Irish soda bread or move on to really fun things like fruit, rainbows, or lots of different fun snacks that all you have to do is add a little bit of green and it makes them a little bit more festive for St. Patrick's Day. There are so many options that you can find online. Just search St. Patrick's Day recipes and I'm telling you there are thousands of them. And one of the great things about St. Patrick's Day this year is that it is on a Sunday. So you will already be go going to church that day. So that just works out perfectly. You'll be at mass on St. Patrick's Day. Now, now, the last thing that I wanted to share with you was this really neat box that was sent to me by the Catholic T-Shirt Club. This is not a sponsored video, but they did send this to me so that I could share it with you guys. I will have a link in the description box to their website. So this is obviously the St. Patrick's Day themed box. It comes with this beautiful little prayer card. It comes with this little wooden prayer. And then it also comes with these both, wow, this is amazing. And then of course it wouldn't be the Catholic t-shirt club without an actual t-shirt. So this obviously has the prayer of St. Patrick on this. This is so beautiful. So let's see if I can pull it out so you guys can see it. So it says, oops, let me open it up a little bit more because it's kind of over the fold. There we go. It says, Christ beside me, Christ before me, Christ behind me, Christ within me, St. Patrick. And then it has that beautiful Celtic cross. This is so beautiful. I'm so excited to wear this on St. Patrick's Day. So I just wanted to give you guys a little peek at what comes in one of these boxes. And then on top of all of these amazing things and that nice t-shirt, it comes with a little book. So it tells you what's inside your box. It gives you a monthly reflection, storefront coupons, and more. Wow, and this is pretty big here. Look at all these pages. So it tells you that who he's the patron saint of, some of his prayers, some of his quotes. That is so neat. It talks about the design. It talks about what exactly was included. So it was a birch prayer plaque. And then the holy card, and then the medal, the little medallion that was in here. And then the scapular, which is the green thing here, which you would wear around your neck. And then here is a story about St. Patrick. Look at this, this is amazing. There's a journal space for you to write down your reflection. There's lots of space here. And then 
Ooh, there's a referral club. So that's awesome for all of you guys who go ahead and go through that link. You can refer a friend and get 20% off. That's amazing. And then you can also join their Facebook group. There's lots of different coupons. Here's a coupon that you can use right now. A change to a V-neck. And then there's a challenge of the month. And there's a subscriber of the month. How nice. So, and here's their mission and what they do. So I think that's really, really neat. Like I said, I will have this link too in the description box down below so that you can check out the Catholic t-shirt club along with all the other books that I shared in this video as well. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really appreciate you spending this time with me and I hope that all the things that I shared in this video were really helpful to you and I hope to see you again in the next video. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.